Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm bringing you another Fantastic Ladies intro. This one is going to be for the Night Before Christmas Project Pan, and if you haven't heard, everybody already posted their intros to this video. Um, I have been a little bit behind on my videos and trying to get things filmed and posted and such, so I have a lot of intros coming this month because a lot of these projects are for six months, so I'm really trying to work through a bunch of my older products to get out of my collection this year so I can kind of start with some fresh products for next year and well not fresh but like newer products for next year whatever you know what I mean anyways this project is technically going to be ending I believe it's the night before Christmas so like the 24th of December pretty sure I could be wrong on that correct me down below if I'm wrong or I will leave the dates here but this project is you're using 13 because of the spooky number, um, apparently. <laughs> but you're picking 13 products to pan for Halloween and 12 products because of the like night before Christmas or 12 days of Christmas or whatever it is to pan for Christmas. So because I have so many other project pans coming or going right now I should say and some other intros coming I decided to kind of cut that number in half and make this a rolling project for me um, I'm getting overwhelmed with products or projects having too many products in them so I think this is going to be a better alternative for me so I actually chose seven because I know it's not really technically half, but I can't choose six and a half products. That's silly. Um, so I chose seven products for Halloween and six products for Christmas. And then I will just roll them in as I see fit. Or if I notice something and I'm like, you know what? I really want to roll that in. I'll just do that at that time or at that update, whether or not I have a finished product. So this kind of gives me a little bit more leeway to kind of do my own thing while still being motivated to pan items and not getting bored. I will start with the products for Halloween first because that holiday actually comes up first. So let's do that. The first product that I chose for Halloween is this Apothecare Essentials Phyto Defend Boost by Bark Anti-Pollution Spray. So this I actually got from an influencer box and I don't love the smell. The smell is like, I hate it. I hate the smell. It smells like puke of some sort. I don't even know. But I do really think that this is a really good anti-pollution spray. So I do want to finish it up even though I hate the smell. <laughs> I did actually declutter the face wash to a friend that didn't mind the smell at all. But I do want to finish up this anti-pollution spray. My dog got a hold of it. So it actually doesn't have a sprayer on it. So I actually <laughs> will not be using this until my Urban Decay All Nighter spray is gone, which it's like down to nothing. So I'm gonna repot this or depot this into the All Nighter spray and keep this for when I'm empty with that one. So that is the plan. So I won't get to this probably for another, I would say week. Um, and I don't wanna mix them together because this is not a setting spray. I'm gonna be using this on days where I have no makeup on. So that is the plan and I chose this because it is Fido Defend and in Halloween, especially with the scary movies, you have to defend yourself. So that's where I'm going with that one. Okay, the next one I chose for Halloween is this Moderma Advanced Scar Gel. Scars, obviously Halloween themed right there. And this really doesn't have much left in it, but it was very expensive. I used this on my scar from my Achilles tendon. I'm not gonna show you guys another picture of that. If you wanna see a picture of that, it was from my previous birthday post from last year, 2018. So if you're curious, I will leave that link down below. Um, but it is a pretty gnarly scar. So I do want to use this up and this has a total of 9.45 grams in it. I am using my new scale to weigh things. So I just kind of want to see how much product is really in things, you know? Okay, my next Halloween item is this Hey Honey 24-7 Day and Night Moisturizing Cream. And I really like the black and white packaging for day and night. And I feel like Halloween is definitely a day and night type of um, 
holiday because in the daytime you get to dress all cutesy and go to work and have cute like face makeup on and stuff and then at night you can be like scary and creepy and whatever and that's kind of what's given me these vibes so I do really like this moisturizer and I am there is a little bit of air bubble in here but I think I'm about halfway done with this little packaging um, and this has 8.95 or grams left in it um, I don't have the initial starting weight for grams for this one unfortunately everything that I'm giving you is where I'm starting at at this exact point so that's where we are okay the next one is just simply because of the black packaging this is au naturel cream multi stick in grapefruit and I have actually been using this quite a bit this one has a total of 42.85 fluid ounces or just kidding grams because that's what my scale measures hello it is quite a large product here i will show you guys how i normally do with my finger so there we are we are past my knuckle and this is quite a large product can you guys see those two little lines on there so my goal by the next update is to have one of those lines completely gone so I think I can do it. I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. I would love to, but this is probably going to be around for another year. It's quite a large package of cream blush, and I don't use this as a lip product, just as a cream blush. It's very glowy, but it looks very nice on the skin, so I do like it a lot. I actually have it underneath one of my blushes today. I pretty much have been wearing this every day, whether or not I wear makeup, and it just gives me kind of that little bit of extra. Um, I really do like this and I'm hoping to get that one line gone. So I think if I get both those lines gone, I will roll this out at that point. Um, I don't foresee myself using this in the winter time. My skin is much too dry for that. But as far as the summertime, I can definitely get some use out of this. Then something I'm hoping that will roll out in the next month is my Tarte Tarteist Lash Paint Mascara. If you guys have not heard of this, I don't know where you've been living, maybe under a rock, but I really do like this mascara. I don't love the wand very much. It is like that pokey, not a natural bristle, what am I thinking, silicone brush. Not my favorite. Um, but I do really like this mascara. It is what I have on my eyes today. The only mascara I have on today. And I do like it. I don't love it. I just want to use it up. And I'm thinking that it's starting to get towards its last legs of life here. So I'm hoping to have this gone within a month. Hopefully I can wear makeup every day or close to every day. We shall see. Um, I don't typically. But anyways, I'm hoping to get this done hopefully within a month. Two more items for my Halloween category. Oh, that one I picked because of the black packaging. Same with this one, black packaging. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in soft brown. I don't know why I was confused on what color. This is all I have left. It is just a little tiny nub in there, but this takes me so long to go through. I use so little on my brows when I do use it. I do have it in my brows today. Um, it is the perfect shade for me all year round, so I do have multiples of these, and this lasts me forever. Literally forever. I did not weigh this one just because there's just like, I, uh, there's no product. <laughs> I don't think it would be worth it to weigh. But it does originally come with 0 0.085 grams. Like I said, I don't think there's probably like 0 0.01 grams left in here. I don't think it's fair to weigh this one. I think if a little dust blows on it, it'll weigh more. Or if it's completely cleaned off, it'll weigh less. I just, I don't think it's worth it. But I do want to finish this up. I'm hoping to have this finished up within a month. I've been working on this for like two years now. I don't do my brows every day, clearly, but yeah. The very last Halloween item that I picked is something that has the green and black packaging. And I picked this because the geometric kind of like colors and everything are really giving me those like Halloween-y type vibes. And I kind of want to do a Halloween look bait. What? I kind of want to do a Halloween look based off of this packaging. This is from Arrow. This is the Boost Color Enhancing Lip Balm. And this doesn't have like any specific shade or anything. I think this is just like the general one. But look at that packaging. It's so geometric and cool. Um, 
I definitely think I'm gonna take a picture of this packaging and do some kind of like cool geometric eye look this year for one of my Halloween tutorials that I'm hoping to put up. But this packaging I specifically wanna use up because I want to put a different product in this packaging. I wanna melt one of my potted lip balms in here and reuse this packaging, so. That is why I want to use this up. It is one of those color changing ones. It made my skin super pink just now. Cool, I have never tried one of these. I obviously have not used this one. Brand new, I'm excited to use this. I did end up weighing this one at 14.48 grams and it says that there are four grams total in here so by the end we should be down to 10 grams or less you know a lot of companies say that there's four grams but really there's like six so yes and i will be digging the product out of the bottom of the packaging here and there might be quite a bit in there so this might take me a couple months to get through i will be bringing this to work though in lieu of one of my lip glosses probably every other day just to kind of switch it up um but I do wanna make some good progress on this. Okay, on to the items that I chose for Christmas. A lot of these are color-based as well, so let's get into it. I chose, I know this is not another project somewhere, but I think that project is ending, so I chose to put it in this one as well, especially during the summertime. This is the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. This is taking me forever to finish. I've been using this almost every day, whether or not I wear makeup, and it's still going strong. When will this end? So here it is here. I cannot mark it because it is so high up in the tube. I have screwed it off and like seen, it's just like, there is nothing left you guys. Like it is so far up there. It is an airless pump, but I just want to finish this. I want to see this in my empties like now. <laughs> um, but this is obviously green and the word elf. Hello Christmas. Here we go. I want to use that up. I did not weigh that one. I didn't think it was worth it. I think there's going to be like five uses, maybe 10 out of that left. So I didn't think it was worth it. Then I have the Ulla Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. This one I can only use in the summertime. Now that I've been using it, I only want to use this in the summertime. It would be much too poor clogging for the winter time, I'm pretty sure. So this one, it actually is marked a little bit lower than where we are because this was in a previous project that I have since finished. So I am ready to finish this up. I have been working on this. This is an airless pump as well. Different type of packaging though, but this is like a refillable packaging, which I kind of appreciate because I love the pumper on here. It gives me like the perfect amount of product. So I do really like that and I can foresee myself putting other products in here in the future that I don't like their packaging. So another reason to finish it off, but it's green. There we go, Christmas. Well, this is kind of yellow green. This is the Fiji Passion Fruit Body Lotion from the Signature Collection of Bath & Body Works. I tried to weigh this on my little scale and it is too heavy for my little scale. Technically, I should get my big scale out, but I just don't want to. I wanna finish this before the fall. I've had this in my collection way too long and I need it to go. <laughs> this is my markings from a uh, Instagram project that I was doing with Stacey Landreth. She has since renamed her channel Stacey's Makeup Corner. So, hey Stace. Um, but it is actually less than that. It's about right here now. I don't think it's even worth marking. I just want to finish this up. I'm hoping to finish this within a month, maybe two. I'm actually going to leave it here on my beauty desk because being in my room, it doesn't get used at all and my skin has been extremely dry lately and very itchy. Um, I, I have very combination skin and it just decides what it wants to do on a daily basis. So I'm kind of over talking about my skin, but anyways, I want to finish this up before the next update, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, the final green products, you guys. I have to keep going with the greens. This is from the Wander Beauty palette that is also in my Blast Into Project Panning collab that you guys have already seen earlier, like a couple days ago, maybe yesterday, who knows? I don't know when this will go up. But this is the Wondrous Seascape palette and I've actually been really, really enjoying this. I wanna start the Pan In Every palette project, but I don't have enough use in any of my palettes really except for the palette that I'm project panning right now to actually make that an achievable goal you know so I want to start working on these palettes that I've been really liking 
So you guys already know that that blue color in Coastal right there is actually in the Blast Me Too Project Panning. And the color that I chose for this one, can you guess it? It is the green sparkly color on the bottom in Sea Foam. I just want to hit pan on that. I am weighing this in the Blast Into Project Panning, so I won't be weighing this in this project simply because the updates are going to be like within a day of each other, and I think that's kind of silly. So I am trying to use both of them. I don't have the green color on today. I did wear it yesterday though, um, and the blue I actually did wear today because I have to get a certain amount of uses on the blue color. <laughs> so I'm hoping to hit pan on the green by the same time that I get my 20 uses on the blue from my other project so that I can roll this out entirely. Um, but I'm actually loving this palette. Every single color in here is just beautiful. And I actually have the pink color on my lids today. The pink color is in Sea Salt. So I've been loving this palette. And if you guys got this in your Boxy Charm or Ipsy, one of the two, you should definitely use it. It is a beautiful palette. I've been really loving it. Okay, another summer product. What? Summer product? Another Christmas product, just because it is glowy, is, well, because of all the, you know, all the fun packaging and, you know, whatever. It's a glowy product. This is the product that I chose. Obviously, it is a broken product that I put in one of my little dishes. This is Star Island by Ofra. I actually got it as an Ipsy add-on. And literally the day that I got it, I dropped it, the packaging broke, I tried to depot it out of the packaging because I just, I can't function with broken packaging. And uh, I broke it. <laughs> so I was just like, screw this packaging. I just crumbled it up, put it in here, and I just want to use it up. I definitely don't think I'm going to get this used up anytime soon, but I want to use it enough where I can put it into a different, more secure packaging to use in the future. But anyways, this is the full size of Star Island, completely broken up. I don't have an empty pan to repress it in, otherwise that would have happened long ago. But I will show you guys, it is the glowiness that I have on my shoulders today. I have been wearing it like that all the time and I think this is the time to wear loose powders like this. I have been using this little brush from Pure. It's just a teeny tiny little travel size fan brush but I like it because it sits on there perfectly <laughs> on my desk which I, I just love the fact that it's like such a perfect little size and I just and I just do a little of my collarbones and I'm happy and good to go and I'm glowing. So I don't know how much of this I want to use. I think I'm just gonna use it until the summertime is over. I do have a weight on this. It is 111 grams, 0 0.02. So 111.02 grams total. Um, I have no idea how much was originally in here but I know that a lot of the weight is actually from the bowl. It is a glass bowl. So yeah, I just want to use this. Hopefully I can get some significant progress on this. I mean, if I could get this down to like 100 grams, I don't know how many is in here, like I said. But if I could get this down quite a bit, I would be so happy. Two more for the Christmas theme. I have the Model Co. Lip Lacquer in the shade Social Light. It is a very red color here. I am panning my red sephora cream stain lipstick in zero one always red i wear that one all the time this one is a gloss but it is a very very um pinky red toned gloss and i love this formula so i want to use this before it goes bad i will be repurchasing these at some point in my life but that is the color there and i think it'll be a good wash of like popsicle-y type glossy color um, for the summertime. So I definitely want to get this completely used up and I did weigh this one as well. This one weighed in at 11.86 grams and there are, it doesn't go by grams on here, but it's 0 0.05 fluid ounces. So I want to get this completely used up not by the next update that's not even possible but hopefully by the next like three months i'll have this completely gone and the very last product i have is a becca highlighter this one is strictly for the face in the summertime it is opal you know you guys know it's a bit darker um so that is opal on me it really only looks good in the summertime i did wear it as a very very light no makeup highlighter yesterday on the fourth of july and this is what it looks like in the pan. I I don't 
know if I want to hip pan on this. I mean, it would be amazing to hip pan on this, but the way I use it is with a very large, thick, fluffy fan brush. So I don't think I will actually be able to hip pan on this, but I do want to use it quite a bit. There are 2.40 grams in here. So I want to use a full gram of product. I think using half of it would be amazing. And you guys know products are usually you know, they usually have a ton more than what they say that they have in there. So I'm assuming that this probably has three and a half grams. So if I use one full gram of product, it won't actually be half of it. So who knows if I'll actually hit pan, but this started at 19.70 grams. I have used it previously, like I said, not a lot because I can only use it in the summer. So I want to get some significant progress on this guy. And I mean, if I hit pan, great. If not, then I just wanna get one full gram gone. So I think that'll be a good goal for me. Are you guys struggling with this allergy season too? Okay, you guys, so that was everything from my night before Christmas, nightmare before Christmas, night before Christmas, one of the two, project pan. I will get the name right at some point. And um, yeah, like I said, if I want to roll a product in, like I see an orange nail polish right now, but I don't think it's, point. I think it's kind of pointless to add that in at this exact time because I'm not going to wear orange right now, you know, but I do want to finish it eventually. So maybe I'll add it in the next update. We'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys all go and check out everybody else that is involved in this video or in this panning project. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.